we have Danny. Hello. And Violet. And Sophie. <gasps> Good, you guys. I feel cool. This is the best part, right? You can do this. Give <laughs> me it. So it's levitating. It's floating in the air. lessons. Welcome you guys and today it's utensils and brushes but not ordinary brushes dishwash brushes. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create some crazy animal art. For example like Mr. Panda and Mr. Lion. This is the utensils project. Let's get some paints so we can get started, all right? Come get it. For this project, you will need a paint set, plastic forks, plastic knives, a dishwasher brush, colored cardboard, colored paper, glue, and scissors. Yellow. I want yellow. yellow. Fantastic yellow for you. What color? Purple. Purple, excellent choice. Purple is a good color. Go ahead. Pull, 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 go ahead. Okay, one more color. One more. Yellow. No, orange, orange, orange. Orange, excellent. Orange, lots of orange here. Here orange. we go. Orange. 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 And purple for you. Perfect. Excellent. First, what you need to do is you need to decide what color your cat is going to be. What color? Uh, orange. Your cat is going to be orange. He's going to be a nice red tabby cat, right? So here's what we're going to do. We take a fork, we scoop. Mm. Yeah, I know. This is the best part, right? You go like that. Mush, 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 mush. And then you go like this. Go for it. Select the colored cardboard you would like. Dip the plastic fork into the paint and apply it to the cardboard to create the shape of the character you would like. Just take fork and keep going like that with the brush strokes, right? You want to pat it, pat it and layer the color just like that. No, so you don't want to do that because if you go like that, Round and round and round, you're not getting the brush strokes. You're not getting the texture that you would of an animal. Because the animal has fur. And so we gotta put some, there we go, yes, that's the texture. You, have, you can add texture that way. That's a good way as well. Okay, good. How are we doing? Okay, good. Okay, okay, hold on. So I'm gonna stop you for a second. Because you don't wanna scoop up the paint and apply it. You wanna tap. Tap, 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 tap. Keep going. Tap, tap, like that. You wanna tap, there we go. Tap, tap. Nice, long feathers. There we go, so we have that fuzzy. There we go, fuzzy effect. Keep going. That's it. And I think you might wanna make, go even further out. So, because peacock has very long feathers, right? Yes. Very long, beautiful tail. Excellent. There we go, come on, come on, come on. Go like that. There we go. Excellent. Good. It's, there we go. Perfect. Excellent. Good. Oh, that definitely looks, that almost looks like a kitty. It's good. It, I know it's gonna be, not gonna be a kitty, but it almost looks like a kitty. Good. How are we doing here? Right now we have just one color and that's good. But you want to experiment. You wanna have fun. You wanna use a little bit of variety here because if it's only one color all the time, it, I mean, it could work, but I think it just, it would be more fun if we had just a little bit, something extra in here, okay? Layer on additional color to create a more in-depth look. This is cat fur, right? And so, if you have a cat fur, usually it has different shades. 
There we go, there we go. Keep going, good. There we go. Got a little bit of whiskers there. We have a little, a lot of paint. How about more texture? How about a little more texture? A little bit more, right? We, well, another thing we can do is you can add scratches like that. Scratching and pulling the paint with fork creates fun and fuzzy texture. If you add them, yeah, it kind of adds texture as well. So there are really lots of great ways to make this. I love it. I think this is gonna be a very happy snowman. Very good. All right, I'm going to show one little technique here. This is a peacock. So what we've done is we've added a little bit of the feathers right here, right? Because peacock has those feathers. And then we wanted to add a little bit of lines. And so I used, we wanted to add a little bit more lines to the feathers. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to use the knife and I've used the knife just like that, dipped it in the paint and just dragged the paint right over like that to make those lines, okay? Use a plastic knife to bring out straight lined elements, like feathers, for example. That's it. And I think it is ready. It looks great. We have to make these pieces alive. How are we gonna do that? By giving them eyes and mouths so they can really show how they feel, okay? And we're gonna do that by cutting out paper. Make eyes by cutting out different circles from colored paper. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold, right? You're gonna take your scissors and then you're gonna cut out like that. And there, that's one part of the eye. Keep going, good, 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 good. There's another part of the eye and it's the black part, right? The iris, sometimes it's green. Okay, and we cut that out. Now look, it has to be smaller than this. This is big, this has to be smaller. So we cut out a small piece as well. Okay, there we go. And then we take glue and just two drops. Pop, pop right there and attach. Wait for the paint to dry. Assemble the eyes and glue them onto the picture. All right? And if you look here, look, the minute we put the eyes, the minute we do that, look at that, the picture just comes alive. Perfect. Oh, those are perfect. You need a little nose. Let me get you a little nose. How do we make a little nose? Take a sheet. We're imitating a carrot. There we go. Ta-da! Perfect! Cut out mouth, nose, whiskers, or any additional details you see fit and glue them onto the picture. Birds have eyes that are much closer together, like that, right? And this one needs a special nose as well, right? And on top of that, it needs kind of a body. So we're gonna attach a little body here. Um, you know what, let's make it silver. Let's make it silver because it is peacock. And peacock, he's a beautiful, beautiful bird. So we're gonna make a little stomach, a little tummy here, and then a really nice long neck. Okay, that's the head. And then he has these things up above. So we're gonna just go like that. We're gonna lift it up. There we go, look. See, now it's more recognizable. <laughs> Good, right? And let's add a little nose. And the nose, of course, we can do the same thing. There we go, we got a little triangle there. And they got a little triangular nose. Right, just a little one. Just like that. Perfect, good. Good, 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 good. Perfect. She's gluing it in there. Thank you. And look at that. Perfect. Excellent, look at that, absolutely perfect. It is clear that it's a peacock. There's only one small touch. Some of these need feet. So we're gonna add little feet right here, okay? Here you go, go ahead. Use a marker to add little details to your picture. Perfect, 
This picture is absolutely perfect and it's almost done. Now here, we have a little snowman and the snowman needs a scarf because he's so cold. So how about we make a scarf? How about blue or red? Good? Blue. blue. Good. Good choice. Let's see if we get a blue one. Perfect. Okay. And here's how we're going to make the scarf. Okay. First, you want to look, see how long should it be? It should be pretty long. That's the first part. All right. Now, because you want it to go round really nicely, you want to round the edges here. So it will look like it's hugging him. Like it's really wound tightly around his neck. Okay. Okay. Here. Try it out. No, 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 because actually it goes right that way. There we go. And then the second part are the two pieces of the scarf that go one and two. This part is gonna go like that. Look at that. So we got a nice long scarf over there, okay? Now he looks like a very happy snowman. Very nice. All right, you guys, amazing, really beautiful peacock, really beautiful feathers, really fluffy feathers all around. He's fluffing them, it looks great. Big eyes, very warm and fuzzy snowman, absolutely beautiful, and a very kind, big fat tabby cat. We are done. The animals are ready, okay? Let's take them very quickly. Take them up here. Let's see if they can make, make, make new friends. Bring your pictures up here, please. Come on, come on, come on, quickly, quickly. Look at that, excellent. Mm -hmm. We got new friends. Perfect, okay, you guys. Fantastic, let's do one more project. Because we have to complete this. The next one, please take your next piece of paper. Okay, for this one, you're going to use white paint. Okay, you can use some other colors too. And what we're going to do, whose brush I'm gonna use? Oh, you got some white paint here. I'm gonna use your brush. We're gonna make some flowers. So here's what you can do. You tap, it's done, and then you go like this. All right, for example, okay. Another painting tool you could use is a dishwashing brush. Use it to create other fun textures. This is the idea is that this, this could be a flower, right? The, the idea is that this could be a flower that's grown. Okay, yeah. So if you, if you add a few leaves and, oh, that's really good. Perfect, she, he added little hearts and little centers. Good, a new flower, fantastic. Uh-huh, here you go. There we go, yeah, keep going. You can even add some more here. Good, you guys, that looks- I feel so cool. Oh, you guys, we're done, okay? We are absolutely done. So just with you, smudges, look at that. It looks like a field, like a flower field. Very good, you guys. Come on, like this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep it going. Anything you could find in the kitchen can be used to create beautiful, fun art. Plastic knives, plastic forks, dish brushes. Dip them, use them, create beautiful textures, and just have fun. Miss Mickey was here, have a great day.
Kitty B. Subscribe.